ऑफिसर्स जय शनकपुरे अर्जुन बडोला कुंदन यादव एंड शुभम एंड आई एम श्योर मेनी ऑफ यू माइट बी नोइंग बाय यू नो सीइंग द ट्वीट्स बट द सेशन इज स्पेशल बिकॉज वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस मच अबाउट मार्केट के मार्केट कहाँ जा रहा है और सम इन्वेस्टिंग स्टाइल और मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स विच हैव डन इन लास्ट फ्यू ट्विटर स्पेसिस बट दिस सेशन इज लिटिल डिफरेंट एंड मोर इंटरेस्टिंग uh because uh, you know this session it reminded me uh when i was doing my mba in 2008 and i think uh, you know the the new batch the vice chancellor he was addressing and there was something which he said he said that you know i have seen here batches passing from last 10 12 years and i can tell you every year a new batch comes and that new batch is much better you know the guys are much better than the previous batch and i see the same kind of thing happening in investing every new generation of uh, you know learners which are coming they are much better prepared better than the old generation and in fact looks to me the mean age of uh, you know investors that it that is decreasing over time and if there is some data proof to give i think these four guys are the best proof uh, because i have seen tremendous change from you know uh, during my time when i started i think first time i started in 2007 uh at least at my age i couldn't find anybody below 20 who got into market and started learning and slowly i am seeing people in their early 20s having the great maturity about market what to read what not to read what is their investing style they would have tried two three things so it's very interesting to you know know about them learn from their journey and i am sure there may be uh, you know a few of uh, you among the audience you know who will have a similar kind of journey so we thought uh, you know it's a great way to just learn listen to them to understand you know how they came into market because i have been always very curious that how at this stage you know people have so much of clarity and visibility so i thought let's just have this session and let's know bit more about uh, you know each of these four guys and you know let's just learn from their journey and let's encourage them so welcome arjun welcome jay uh, welcome kundan welcome shubham thank you so much sir thank you for having me thank you sir thank yeah. you so much thank you sir for and just for the disclaimers we might uh, we might uh, end up talking something about stocks and also nothing is a you know advisory uh, this is more a general discussion and also we will have a q and a session where you want to ask anything from them uh, we will have a q and a session in the end uh, so i have some structured questions for them and we will go through it we'll try to understand and then we'll open the floor for you know more questions so let's start and uh, uh, maybe my first question will be to hamare chote bhaiya jay because i think i mean i was surprised when i came to know you know jay started his investing when he was in class 7th and right now is in class 9th in fact uh, before this session also once i have spoken personally and the way he catches things like related to python natural language processing the investing the school i mean i get baffled how does he manage all of this so jay why don't you tell everybody about your background you know your academic background when did you get into investing how did you got interested into investing what has been your you know your journey so far yeah yeah so uh, thanks thanks for thanks for uh, taking me in this session sir Uh, so uh, uh, i was i was intrigued uh, about stock markets when in 2020 then i was in class uh, 8th or 7th i don't remember it uh, but that was the time when i was started randomly heard about stock markets and then that and the the reason that i was interested more into it that i thought that how can someone make so much money in stock market and since that the whole 2020 year because there was lockdown hence i had a lot of time to spend and research about stock market so i researched uh, the whole year about stock markets and learned basics of stock markets and then uh, in 2020 2021 january month i started actually investing in stock markets through my father's dmat account uh, because my age doesn't permit to open dmat account yet uh, and from that uh, the actual learning began i learned a lot about business uh, how to analyze a particular business what is uh, balance sheet what is pnl what is cash flow statement how what is annual report how can one read it uh, all this all this uh, and then the uh, and then in the month of uh, october uh, i uh, actually uh, uh, came across this tweet of by vivek mashani sir where he said that he is looking for research analyst intern who will uh, actually research companies in his organization so i randomly uh, applied to it i didn't know anything will i get selected just i wanted to learn about more about investing 
uh, and then there i got selected and then since then i it's a lot i have learned a lot a lot a lot with vivek mishrani sir like the way he manages both technicals and fundamentals and where he plants them like uh, fantastic it's just fantastic uh, and currently i'm studying in class uh, like i finished the class 9 final exams this uh, last month and now i'm going into class 10 that is my whole journey great great and uh, jay did anyone from your family had an has an investing background like or uh, you know it was a right from the scratch yeah yeah so basically uh, no one in my family invests in stock markets that like no one like not even relatives so basically the moment i started researching about stock markets my father was also pretty interested in it uh, like he was also pretty encouraging to me we both started investing at the uh, at the same time that we both are learning i learn from him he learns from me basically that is a been a great journey that's very interesting because usually पापा को देख के बच्चे इन्वेस्टिंग में घुसते हैं और बच्चे को देख के पापा भी इन्वेस्टिंग में घुसते हैं सो दैट्स इंटरेस्टिंग ओके 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 जय स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिंग इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू so yeah the whole family is learning about stock market good 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 and maybe we'll spend some time we'll come after the other speakers and we will try to talk more about what you are doing in show than you know some of the projects so we'll come back again absolutely you know, absolutely yeah. uh, my next guest uh, guest is arjun arjun badola and i think for the first time when i uh, came across arjun it was the if i believe the brokerage the blog on the brokerage sector and then the blog on the icic direct it was written with so much of clarity and thanks to ish mohit to you know uh, promote young minds like uh, you know arjun uh, and uh, promoting his thought process through this blog and that is how you know i came to know across arjun and he is doing a fab work again Arj- uh, arjun why don't you introduce yourself and tell about your journey your background from where you come how did you got into investing and you know what is your current investing style and all uh, i'm i'm audible sir Yeah, Arjun. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for the uh, appreciation. Uh, so uh, I'm Arjun, and uh, I'm a currently a law student, and who also has an interest in analyzing businesses. So uh, currently, I write about investing on my personal blog, that is Arjun Madola dot blog, and I also write business analysis on in collaboration with S Y C. So uh, I, I'm sure m- many of you have heard about S Y C. So. Um, my my uh, my initial thought process towards investing started uh, uh, after 12th boards where uh, what happened uh, after 12th boards uh, it generally happens that most of the students are very free and there's too much time to spend um, so i started reading a book that is rich dad poor dad and one thing which i grabbed from that book was that there should be an appreciating asset which uh, every person should have there in their life so i started wondering that uh, okay i am a 12 i am a uh, student who just passed his 12th and uh, what asset should i uh, could could i own so after researching and all i i figured out that stock market made little sense to me because uh, the upfront capital to for owning an asset in stock market is quite less uh, compared to the other assets for example real estate or uh, for example real estate the upfront cost is huge very huge so that made sense to me and when i then i started surfing on the youtube and in youtube i came across warren buffett like uh, most of the people uh, come across and i started watching warren buffett videos and uh, then then i became a warren buffett bhakt like uh, if you have seen sanjay bhattacharya sir's uh, video he says wb bhakt jo like like he quotes also ki sir main moat dhoond raha hu moat dhoond raha hu so i became that and i got obsessed with moat investing so uh, what happened uh, so i got obsessed with moat investing and before that also i uh, i came uh, i was watching warren buffett's videos so he said that he his uh, guru was benjamin graham and benjamin graham had written a book that is intelligent investor so in 2018 i read that book and i just started copying whatever was mentioned in the book so there is there is one chapter on uh, i don't know it's either defensive investor and uh, i think both is mentioned defensive investor and uh, enterprise investor so i think i went to the enterprise investor section and they had mentioned five to six uh, criteria for owning a stock and i just went that and put it on the screener and i used to copy uh, just buy those shares uh, no so i used to put that filters and i used to check that the uh, there shouldn't be a legal case or something with the company and i just used to buy the buy the shares of that company 
but uh, one part i missed there was that uh, first i assumed that warren buffett still follows benjamin graham and second part was that i missed that benjamin graham had mentioned you have to diversify if you are following his strategy that i did not do i used to own four or five five shares following that strategy and uske baad uh, Mar- march 2022 came sorry march 2020 came and as obviously everybody knows uh, the stocks crashed but luckily that time my capital was also less and uh, i had built up the warren buffett mindset so i got happy that the stocks fell down for by 30 40% so i uh, i called up my uh, family and friends and uh, i asked them that if they, if they could uh, i matlab the opportunity is very good and they, we could uh, make some money here so one of my cousins also lent me money and uh, i i then i started uh, using that capital i bought all the shares and soon uh, after 3 4 months uh, four out of three stocks recovered and one of them did not recover which was i think uh, take solutions which is uh, one of my which, which comes under my mistake and uh, yeah that is it then then uh, i started uh, i started following warren buffett then i soon realized that warren buffett no longer follows benjamin graham and he is a moat investor so i got obsessed with moat investing i started looking for moats everywhere and i came across this company ccl products and they said that they have they are the biggest uh, processor of coffee in the world and uh, they have relations of 20 years with the customer and uh, like when when you read the company it feels like nobody can uh, beat that company so i got so confident with that company that i had put 70% of my portfolio in ccl products and even if you go and search on twitter ccl products arjun modala there will be a lot of tweets coming up where i am so confident of the company that uh, it is just like like they say that don't marry your stocks so it was that case where i had married my stocks but uh, then uh, what happened the, the analysis which i shared on ccl products uh, ishmoith came ishmoith arora came across my article and in that article uh, he, so he liked my article and he uh, tweeted about it and through there only i came uh, we we got connected and then during december 2020 we spoke uh, we shared our numbers and we spoke about the company and when we spoke about ccl products that time i actually realized that okay uh, there is a lot to learn in this uh, in this uh, this thing this area and whatever i was doing was pure luck and luckily there was no uh, big blow ups and uh, i survived but that was pure luck and after talking to ishmat i realized that so many criteria you can you have to see and what, what how how to actually think about the business and all and so that that talk actually motivated me also and in some way demotivated me also because i realized that okay whatever i was doing is wrong and uh, the ne- the very second the phone got called the matlab uh, the next day when the market opened i sold all my shares and uh, then i took a 3 4 weeks break where i was like ki are bhai <laughs> what was i doing and all so pura i said uh, i took aram se break and then i then ishmoit offered me an opportunity that uh, why don't you start writing for us and that is when the uh, sorrel sir was mentioning that i wrote that brokerage report and uh, th- that was my first article with uh, soic and through through writing writing for uh, soic uh, i i read the company and whatever doubts i get in between i just uh, text is mohit and either we get on a call or he he clarifies the doubts by text so that is how i started learning and all and uh, that's that's been my journey so far where uh, where i write for soic and uh, i've been learning and uh, and through through twitter has been a great great contributing contribution towards uh, my learning where i've met uh, so many people and I've, i i would also like to thank my mentors uh, like i've met ashish kila sir ashwini damani sir over twitter and uh, uh i i i keep learning a lot from them so i'll i'll stop here because i it will become a huge monologue but uh, this is this is in, uh, this is in short what my journey has been so far thanks thanks a lot arjun and i think uh, uh, you know this is a typical journey because we all evolve and our styles evolve in fact i remember when i read the first book uh, by pat dorsey on five styles of investing I I thought was yahi hai, paisa ka. And whenever I used to see if somebody is putting the and all, I thought okay, doing the the and 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 doing wrong thing only only to realize later on that that you know know this is is one one way way how limited is my knowledge so you know, that is typically the way we all have learned and grown and then learn multidisciplinary styles and all. Uh, so next uh, Kundan, why don't you go and uh, you know introduce yourself 
and i am sure lot of you will know kundan through this handle price precision uh, but kundan um, you know the floor is yours please introduce yourself and you know about your journey thank you saurav sir thank you for having me here hello everybody uh, hey my name is kundan and uh, i am a student and a trader and an investor too but uh, soon now i'll be returning to full time uh, just a uh, uh, trader so my journey had been started from 2019 when uh, i have been part of uh, one of the club society in the, my college shri ram college of commerce uh, i actually graduated from 2020 from uh, my college and right now i'm pursuing my masters also so when i been my in college uh, there are the teachers one of my professor who used to be like a trader also and an investor also used to read uh, uh, some of these magazines uh, like uh, the lal streets and all business standards and all just to find stock tips and ideas from there not tips uh, as in ideas used to research from it and used to be a like quite a good option trader also and a positional trader also swing trader kind of so i asked him about all this uh, investing and trading how it went so he completely denied me that no you don't need to be a trader or an investor right now just be a student as, as a professor would recommend but uh, i was quite intrigued so i just mailed him and he gave me his uh, some personal time and he actually uh, started something uh, let me like get me into something about stock market ki okay so he gave me some know how information about so later i just connected with then the like this march 2020 crash came corona uh, holiday came <laughs> a long holiday which has been so in that period i've been like uh, thoroughly with a good amount i invested in first time a very significant amount i invested in stock markets in 2020 ka crash so that was a lucky time actually because i have immediately almost doubled my money in just few months a few months maybe like less than 6 months so there i gave get that confidence okay i can actually make money here so i actually asked my father to give me more capital so that i can have a good capital also so uh, i also connected with one of my mentor in a whatsapp group uh, who is actually been a good investor kind of person who has been like investing since uh, last 20 years and uh, he has got some multi bagels like lti which he has bought uh, from pre markets like uh, unlisted market and uh, i got to know about this things area of uh, unlisted spaces also investing so he has got his 70 bagger in uh, actually glasscott so all those things and he was not a quite a famous person he's just a normal guy who and kyunki unke family mein aisa chalta raha tha like uh, some gujarati families are like investing or culture in their blood mein hota hai so i just learned from him some ideas to unhone mujhe bola ki kundan dekh bhav to bhagwan che but eps pehlwan ki eps pe bahut dhyan rakho eps is the engine of the stock koi bhi stock pe aisa dhyan mat dena jiska eps negative ho बेट कि वो मल्टी बैगर बनेगा फ्यूचर प्रोजेक्शन होगा उसके ऊपर बहुत ओपिनियंस होंगे बट नेवर फैक्ट कि उसके ऊपर ज़्यादा ध्यान नहीं देना अनलेस अनटिल दैट स्टॉक इट सेल्फ इज गोइंग टू मेक सम सीरियस अमाउंट ऑफ प्रॉफिट बेटर लेट देन गेटिंग इन टू अर्ली शेट तो इन्होंने बोला कि उसको इग्नोर करना तो आई विल बी ऑलवेज बी फोकसिंग ऑन थिंग्स विच आर बींग प्रॉफिटेबल तो मैंने सिर्फ स्टॉक्स पे जो प्रॉफिटेबल स्टॉक्स है सिर्फ उन पर फोकस किया देन लेटर आई रेड अ बुक अबाउट मार्क मेन बिकॉज आई कनेक्टेड विद वी 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 रोहित टर्न आउट टू बी मेरी वन ऑफ द वेरी बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स एंड ही टीच इज मी आर लॉट स्टिल टूडे सो ही एक्चुअली इंट्रोड्यूस टू मी लाइक अबाउट मार्क मेन विनिंग एंड विलियम ओनील सो आई एक्चुअली रेड अबाउट दीज टू पीपल एंड लाइक आई वॉज गेट अस्टर्निस्ट कि ओके दिस इज समथिंग रियल एंड दिस इज समथिंग इज इज वेरी make can make a very serious amount of money in not like a typical dialogue of stock market that you have to be a long term investor or just invest for 20 years and you will compound your wealth to hell <laughs> like usme aisa kuch bhi is tarah ki baatein jo aam public mein hamesha dhaarnaye hoti hain stock market ko leke ki aisi koi normal baatein nahi thi jo ek tarah se public sensation ban jaye ya fir aise matlab ki jo रूढ़ी वादी बातें होती हैं कि भाई बहुत ही समय से सिर्फ एक ही बातें हो जाएगी वॉरन बफे काइंड ऑफ रिकॉर्ड्स सो ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं था तो उसमें बहुत ही सीरियस टॉपिक्स थे लाइक रिस्क मैनेजमेंट व्हाट इज़ रिस्क मैनेजमेंट एंड उसको भी फिर उन्होंने बहुत तरह के प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स के थ्रू समझा रखा है कि हाउ कड यू एंड उन्होंने फिर फोकस किया द आर्ट ऑफ सेलिंग विलियम ओनिल हैज़ फोकस्ड ऑन द आर्ट ऑफ सेलिंग एंड बुल मार्केट्स में द थिंग इज़ कि हम लोग पैसा तो बना लेते हैं वी ऑलवेज मेक मनी बट द थिंग इज़ अवी डोंट नो टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन द Some things like which are just bubbles, 
कि बस स्टॉक मार्केट में एक बढ़िया सा बोल रन था दे हैव जस्ट डबल ट्रिपल और कई बार हम उसके साथ अटैच हो जाते हैं स्टोरी के साथ और फिर बाद में लूज़ करना पड़ता है और मे बी समाइम वी बाई एट वेरी हाइज सो वट आर द मेन लर्निंग्स फ्रॉम फॉर मी और लाइक ऑल दीज पीपल दैट आई हैव बीन कनेक्टेड एंड दे इंट्रोड्यूस्ड मी टू समथिंग मोर रियली ग्रेट एंड उसने मेरे को बहुत हेल्प किया अभी एंड राइट नाउ आई एम वेरी मच थैंकफुल टू माई फ्रेंड रोहित कृष्णा सर इज़ हेयर एंड आशीष सर हु हैज़ बीन इन्वेस्टिंग कंसनट्रेटेडली एंड ही इज़ ऑल्सो टीचिंग मी दैट थिंग ऑल्सो लाइक हाउ ही हैज़ बीन डूइंग ऑल दिस कंसनट्रेटेड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स सो ऑल दिस पीपल लाइक ट्विटर हैज़ बीन अ प्लेस फॉर मी बिकॉज वन ऑफ द वीडियोज ऑफ इशमो हिप वेर ही वॉज डूइंग बिजनेस एनालिसिस एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो ही जस्ट सेट कि इन द स्टॉक मार्केट यू विल बी पेड फॉर द कनेक्शंस यू बिल्ट the more connections you have you will get more stock ideas more information because ultimately this is a game of information so whatever the analysis we do only screen and data will never help anybody in the investments so mere ko to ye laga ki ha in sirf investment screen and ke data pe ya fir hum sirf ek kamre mein qaid ho ke nahi kar sakte we need to be connected with good people so as we say ki network is the net worth so twitter actually helped me for creating that network and i am very much lucky that i have been be able to get connected with really some really smart people who actually pushes me like uh, something like sometimes i feel ke they they really want me like uh, nitin kamath ji ka maine ek interview dekha tha ki he said uh, the people uh, if you want to be lucky in your life surround yourself with the people who actually want you to be lucky the more people you surround yourself with uh, intention that he, they want you to be lucky so you will be get lucky in life so that has been my thing i have been actually been surrounded with some really good people so this has been my journey sir thanks thanks a lot kundan and the last of the man shubham so pyar se i call him mishra ji so mishra ji it's your turn thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much sir and sorry, shubham is also uh, one of the speaker because i was the only host i made him a post so that in case i lose the connection is there so he is also a speaker just that for formality is a post please go sir yeah thank you sir thank you for the opportunity and uh, good evening to all of you uh, so my journey started uh, in 1516 uh, at the same time i got admission uh, for my btech in electronics and communication engineering and at the same time i started my upsc civil service examination preparation so the, the three of the events coincided uh, in the same year so during the uh, preparation of my uh, upsc exams uh, so i got to know about uh, subjects of economics and uh, uh, little bit of finance so ek kehte hain ki bhai apna subject ko leke ek natural aptitude hota hai kisi kisi ka so when i read uh, some topics related to these subjects so i got to know that i have a natural aptitude regarding these type of subjects so i started to explore uh, these type of things so i got to know about securities market so one thing uh, which i uh, realized that uh, this is this is a kind of subject uh, by which we can uh, uh, by which we can make tangible as well as intangible outcomes tangible in terms of wealth and intangible in terms of knowledge so uh, so i thought to explore it Uh, in a, a larger way so uh, at that time i was not having my own uh, dmat account my father uh, has been in uh, has been investing in stock markets since 2010 so he was having his own dmat account in icici so it is still there uh, uh, i i managed that dmat account so to usme fir mera koi dmat account to tha nahi to maine fir i i opened my dmat account in 2016 end so uh, Uh, i was not having that much uh, that much amount of knowledge at that time because every beginner has has to accumulate uh, this type of knowledge so the accumulated knowledge uh, uh, helps you to uh, gain more knowledge in uh, uh, coming times so uh, from the year 2017 uh, when the uh, bull run started in mid cap small cap space so at that time wo hota ki bull bull market mein to paise to ban jate hain agar aap koi is tarah माइनर uh, मिस्टेक भी करते हैं तो भी पैसे आपके बन जाते हैं लेकिन फिर रियल लर्निंग स्टार्ट होती है कि जब बेयर रन आता है तो एटीन नाइनटीन वॉज अ पीरियड ऑफ बेयर रन इन मिड इन स्मॉल कैप स्टॉक्स तो उसमें अर्निंग तो होती नहीं है तो लेकिन लर्निंग फिर बहुत सारी होती है तो एक ये जरूर एडवांटेज रहा है कि आई हैव बीन विटनेस आई हैव विटनेस फुल बेयर साइकिल सो एक बोलते ना कि फुल इन्वेस्टर बनने के लिए 
आपको दोनों साइकिल बुल साइकिल और बैर साइकिल का पूरा मालूम होना चाहिए तो उसी से आसा पूरी आपकी लर्निंग कंप्लीट होती है सो so, उसके बाद फिर जैसे जैसे लर्निंग एक्यूमलेट होती गई आई स्टार्टेड टू एक्सप्लोर थिंग्स वेरियस फोरम्स फिर आई आई गॉट इन टू ट्विटर एंड आई गॉट टू नो सो मैनी नॉलेजेबल पीपल हीयर एंड सो ये पूरा एक एक्यूमलेटेड जर्नी चल रहा है जो आगे अभी भी कंटिन्यू है पूरा और लगातार सीख रहे हैं समझ रहे हैं अभी भी सीखना है बहुत कुछ अभी सीखना है बहुत टाइम हुआ नहीं मार्केट में तो लगातार लर्निंग है अपने आप को इम्प्रूव करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं तो इंट्रो मैं बहुत ज़्यादा बढ़ा नहीं रखूँगा क्योंकि आगे बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं बताने के लिए तो ये मेरा ओवरऑल एक मार्केट में एक जर्नी था तो फिर आगे और डिस्कस करेंगे थैंक यू थैंक्स लॉर्ड शुभम सो यू नो वी कैन सी देर फोर यंग पीपल सम इन स्कूल सम इन कॉलेज सम जस्ट आउट ऑफ कॉलेज and uh, they have been learning from last 3 4 years which is pretty interesting and you know when i picked them actually you know uh, this whole uh, thing happened through a tweet i sent a tweet asking people you know whom should we pick and uh, these four names came so we never thought it was never a pre planned effort but what i realize now that uh, jay is like a pure fundamental guy arjun is also a pure fundamental guy uh, whatever i have seen of kundan kundan uh, though he studies fundamental but he has more uh, you know that kind of techno funda band uh, and shubham is also more techno funda band so we have fundamental technical techno funda you know all different kinds of skill sets among these four which is interesting so my next question to all of you and i won't keep it you know very structured that first person second just feel free to you know just unmute yourself and talk uh, but what is your current investing style and who is your investing idol and has your style changed in last 2 3 years based on your experience uh maybe you can just unmute and you know talk about your investing style and your idol yeah so uh, I, i can can i go ahead please arjun yeah so uh so my my style is has changed a lot in past 2 uh, 3 years uh, like substantially it has changed like i mentioned in my introduction uh initially i was benjamin graham style full copy paste then i shifted to moat investing uh the so so if you have uh, if you have read uh, syc had posted a twitter thread where they mentioned that there are three types of warren buffets so so the third one is the current one and the first one was the where he just goes for the deep value and second one is where he where he looks for uh, let's say quality at reasonable price or or quality but value conscious also so th- that was a really good thread which uh, made me think hard so if if i use that as an example so uh, initially i was benjamin graham then the third stack or that is third third warren buffett and then now i'm shifting towards a mixture of uh, let's say one and uh, second uh, warren buffett that is uh, i want growth but it should also i am also valuation conscious but i sometimes also forego that so it, it, it depends a lot like i try to keep it flexible because i remember when i spoke to one of my men, uh, mentors first time and he asked me that okay so what type of investor are you so i said ki sir i just look for moat and quality investing and all so he said i said label mat karo apne aap ko because then uh, already opportunities are difficult to find and if you keep start labeling yourself as a, as some kind of investor you would automatically start rejecting ideas which could be really good good investment ideas so that's where that just this one line made me think a lot and uh, now i don't try to label it but even if you want to label it you can say uh, growth at a reasonable valuation so but still i look for three four basic principles for example uh, 20 to 25% growth if i can get that is ex- excellent and industry should be going with tailwinds and of course a uh, reasonable valuation uh, should be there and uh, i know i'm saying reasonable valuation but this term has a very deep meaning into it which even i have not figured out yet because uh, just 3 4 year 3 2 3 years experience is nothing and uh, i'm still learning with my mentors and all i keep asking them how to value a company but i had i had also uh, written this uh, on uh, a thread on this that 3 3 3 3 uh, uh, in three situations i uh, i'm comfortable in valuation for example a good business which is available at extremely cheap valuations uh, the example could be icic securities which i bought uh, when the pe was around 10 to 12 uh, 10 to 12 and then uh, the tailwinds came in the whole as you you would be studying the numbers of dmat accounts opening up and all so there the 
the stock performed well. Then Manapura Finance could be also good business at available at cheap valuation. But I think my thesis is uh, not working there, and uh, I have I might have made a mistake there. But I've reduced my position substantially in Manapura Finance. But uh, uh, let's see, it it could be a stock where I have to take, bear the pain for a longer period of time. And then there are great businesses with uh, great or good businesses with reasonable valuation, which was music streaming. Tips Industries and Saragama was available at, uh, matlab, uh, not cheap valuation, but fair valuation. You can say I was ready to buy at 35p or, or even 40p. I was ready to buy because I got very uh, this thing uh, positive about the streaming industry, which was uh, music streaming industry, which is coming up and the subscription level. If that comes in, I think uh, Shubham is also uh, this thing. Shubham and I, I see Sahil is also there. We are uh, we are very bullish on uh, this music music streaming industry. And uh, then the third part is the good business, but where I can't compromise on valuation. Uh, and that could, I could say, that could be pipes industries, uh, bearing industries, or even refactories. Because yahan pe if you uh, don't get the valuation right, and unka commodity ka pricing ka kuch gadbad ho gaya, so then you, uh, your stock price starts taking the hit. Starts taking the hit. So that is where I try to uh, find uh, uh, that the valuation should be uh, reasonable in the th third part of business. So this is what I've learned on about valuation so far, but I'm still learning. Uh, this might change uh, as I come across more companies. Uh, so as of now, it is I try to keep it flexible. And uh, one 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 more thing, theme which I look for is the where the market perception is changing. So my recent three three four uh, bets, the, they have been towards market perception where where the past uh, governance uh, was really bad. But now, maybe due to bull market, the companies are disclosing more, and it's just like like uh, like many investors say that invest. Even Ish Mohita said that investing is a publicity game. So, uh, so I play on the probability that okay, the mark uh, the perception might might actually be turning, and uh, I have, uh, now the recent bets which I made is towards the uh, where the perception is changing where it. If you want some names, I could say about in the CNG CNG sector, there are a few names where the company used to uh, be a bad company, but now now they uh, now they are disclosing more, and uh, I hope the corporate governments improve. There can be a steel uh, steel strip wire companies also where the governments are improving. So there is in cases, but I try to manage the risk here by allocation. So uh, if you if you feel the governance is an issue, start with the lower allocation. As and as and when more disclosure comes in, you can increase your uh, increase your allocation. But obviously, the past will always be there. So I won't take that company to above five percent if if the governments uh, if if I am convinced that the government was really there and it was really an issue. So I would never uh, increase that above five percent. But again, I am flexible. If I feel like okay, no, uh, this might be the might be a company where the government actually been sold, then. Then I could in, uh, improve on that. So yeah, this this has been my style. Uh, in brief, if I want to say, this has been my investing style so far. Thanks a lot, Arjun. And what I understand, your idol has been Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett, but in different forms, right? Yes, correct, correct. But now I've shifted to my three mentors, which I mentioned: Ishmael Arora, Ashish Kilathar, and Ashwini Damani. Unke saath hi mera 80% of my ideas are uh, discussed and. Uh, Shared with them, and the rest of the twenty percent comes out. Even Shubham Mishra, I, I discuss with him. If there is any idea, I will message him that I have have you read about this. So he says, "If there is a note, then share it with us." So and that twenty percent, I read on Twitter. Se bhi, if I read somebody's posting or some article or video, so I can see. Like I have seen your DFM uh, foods wala also. So from there, I have put it in my watch list. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I see. Let's see. Twitter से भी बहुत ज़्यादा idea generation हो जाता है, but main 80% is from my mentors only. Great, great, great. Uh, next, who wants to go? Maybe Jay, uh, maybe. And Jay, while you are telling your investing style, can you also tell something about this whole thing called show? And how does it help in your investing journey? And people who are listening, how they can benefit out of some of those projects which you are doing, apart from your investing style and you know idols. Sure. Sure. So there is no one idol. I uh, admire a lot of people. uh like one of them is ayush mittal sir like uh, i follow his him as my i uh, i admire him very much like his style of investing in micro caps and small caps and the companies which are not seen by public yet uh, most of my ideas are generated through screener and value picker only screener via through those filters that you can make 
uh, I generally find a lot of interest in micro caps and small caps, uh, like RACL Gear Tech uh, and their uh, similar like companies. Uh, and uh, that that that's uh, and in the fundamental aspects of the things, I love analyzing businesses, not more of P and L balance sheet. I look at them, but not in that depth that I look at the business. So the the thing that I how I analyze businesses basically. Uh, I read basically three or five basically annual last annual reports of the company, then two to three uh, la previous uh, quarters investor presentations, and then uh, more and more con calls to learn about management. Uh, this is basically my investment style, like more focused on micro caps and small caps. Uh, then the the thing that you mentioned about short. So basically, short is a particular stock research platform that I am building, which has major uh, features like capex tracker. So basically, it Gives all the data of the capex in one in one platform. So basically, when I was working with Vivek Marshani sir, the problem that I noticed in the, that community that the people investors faced is that uh, the data of the capex isn't available in one place. Like uh, for example, if there is a company Lorasla, right? Uska capex ka data set investor presentation mein available hai. Like if you read the company right now, you will remember the. Capex data till let's say one or two months. Then you will start fading away the details like location, quantity capex key, what was the value of the capex, etc., etc. So basically, that uh, problem, uh, the, I I identify that problem and try to solve it. So I have made a product, uh, basically, I've made a website basically which solves this problem, uh, and I've added uh, more and more features to it. Basically, you can see all the different value of a particular capex, the business segment which the company is doing capex in, uh, the location at it which is doing capex, and uh, a lot more of these features. The the development of this uh, website I've been doing for last three months. It is very near to launching it. I'm just looking at adding more of data via automation using uh, NLP, uh, so that I can get a lot of more data. Uh, to display on the website, and then that will be the point where I launch the website. Uh, and also another feature that I am working on is corporate announcement feature. So basically, you can get all the corporate announcements in one place at a time and see and sort them through a lot of a lot of lot of features in show only. So I think this will help people get more of ideas also. Like basically, you can get different different ideas different to different different sectors. Like. Because in show there you can discover all the different capexes by just scrolling in one second, two second, right? Basically, you can generate, you can look at the different capexes and say that this company X Y Z company is doing capex in let's say 2022. So basically, you can then this can be a starting point for your research. So basically, this can also be a great idea generation process. You can get ideas here and you can start researching about them since then. Uh, so yeah, that has been what I'm been working on. And my investment style. Great, great. Shubham Kundan, one of you want to go? Yeah. Yes. Can I? Mm -hmm. Sure, Shubham, you can go. Uh, so uh, my approach, as uh, told by uh, Saurabh sir earlier, that it is Technofunda. So the basic reason why I uh, prefer Technofunda is that. Uh, Uh, i will give you an example of auto industry uh, just like in auto industry we have auto oems the original equipment manufacturers and we have auto ancillaries so take it like auto oems is like a fundamental analysis and auto ancillary work as a uh, the technical analysis work as auto ancillary so both are important and both combine together to form auto industry so uh, that is similar in the case of technofunda we have fundamental analysis we have technical analysis so and that and that that uh, helps helps me to build my conviction uh, uh, and uh, uh, do my position sizing because uh, because uh, i do that that uh, that i do i do I, i prefer to do that type of thing which helps me to build my conviction more and more so uh, if i am if i am competent enough to do fundamental and i am competent enough to do technical also so uh, why shouldn't why should not one do that uh, it is it is it is always preferable so uh the process is like that that my first priority is, is of course fundamentals uh then i move to technicals uh for idea generation there are various tools which i use uh like uh, uh, there is value picker forum there is market smith india uh, there is theory finance which is which is a paid software 
there are the various brokerage reports there are various youtube channels uh, which i see clubhouse discussions is also very good platform uh, because it is relatively new but it is also very good and uh, uh, youtube channels uh, like there is a call youtube channel of bnk securities where they host various uh, management and they are team uh, for their comments and discussion it is also very good edil wise wealth management channel is very good very good sycc uh, all of you know uh, kumar sarab sir ka bhi channel hai wo bhi uh, bahut acha channel hai to so, uh, yahan se idea uh, kafi sare mil jate hain because i have a habit of reading a lot so uh, 24 ghante mein se 15 ghante mera reading mein jata hai so uh, the more i read the more ideas i get so uh, because uh, the basic thing uh, which is with me is that i operate in a closed box now what is that closed box the idea i read in uh, the book called master class with super investors uh, in that there is a chapter of uh, rashekar sir rashekar ayer sir where he described about open uh, open box and closed box so what is closed box it is that my capital is limited because i have no regular source of income my capital is limited so the amount of profit which i book can be redeployed uh, in the markets so i cannot afford large portfolio drawdowns so uh, what uh, uh, most people would prefer to do is that they should they will buy and hold uh, stocks for a longer period of time i cannot do that so i have to do uh, constant churning in my portfolio uh, in the in the sense that uh, i i i avoid large portfolio drawdowns uh, because i operate in a closed box uh, who are operating in a open box they have constant flow of income constant source of funds so uh, they will not have this type of problem so uh, uh, the, this was the point which i wanted to mention now for technical analysis part uh, the basic thing uh, which i do is that uh, the structure should be in a constant uptrend it should be in a trending stock it should respect all the moving averages and since last one one and a half years i have started using elliot wave analysis also so because uh, i use elliot wave to gauge the general direction of uh, the the underlying security i don't use elliot wave for basically uh, trading purpose or uh, basing my view on that only because uh, i just use elliot wave for a general dire- uh, gauging the general direction so that i can uh, position myself accordingly uh, in the underlying security so uh, that i also use so and uh, uh some some triggers which i always keep in mind uh, because i have to uh, generate i have to generate profits i have to generate um, uh, income from uh, the market so uh, the trigger should be uh, near the trigger should be uh, in the near in the near 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 time period uh, triggers could be anything in triggers could be capex trigger could be industry structure changing triggers could be various uh, tailwinds so i have to keep in mind the longevity of trail with tail winds i have to keep in mind the longevity of headwinds also uh, which are in the industry so that i can take a informed decision so that is uh, my overall uh, investing style and uh, process and uh, i am not a buy and hold type of uh, investor because i earlier told that i operate in a closed box so i have to sell as as long as uh, my system uh, i have um, there's no automated system everything is discretionary so uh, my discretion tells me that i have to sell that as per my rules so you can say that i do rules based investing so that would be a correct uh, word to describe my investing style thank you thank you very much interesting and shubham who is your investing or trading idol mm, as such there is there is no investing or trading idol uh, because i learn from so i learn uh, from so many people so there are there are there are various there are many people who i i follow for year wave i follow uh, rohit shrivastava sir of india charts is a very good uh, is a very good person very knowledgeable person and uh, for fundamental uh, there are various uh, people like uh, uh, at 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 early stage i i used to uh, follow uh, ramdev agarwal sir uh, nilesh shah sir and s narayan of icici imc uh, then i got to know some uh, some people like on twitter only i got to know about ish mohit i got to know about tarik i got to know about sail bhai i got to know about you and uh, there are various persons so all all the knowledge is collective you know all the knowledge is collective so there is no any specific idol persons uh, all the knowledge which is which i have accumulated is uh, collected from uh, these sources
great great and i think it's great to see some of the friends also joining is avinash ji is there sahil is there yash bhai is there uh, accidental investor uh, we interact a lot over twitter but not in person so great thanks for joining uh, maybe now i'll uh, give it to kundan kundan let's talk about your investing style and right sure sir hello am i audible yeah kundan go ahead Yeah, so in brief in very short in very short if i tell you what i do what is my current uh, system is just i am exploiting tightness and tightness uh, i mean any change in less than uh, 4% for uh, more uh, like uh, for 4 to 5 days i look for the stocks which are uh, in absolute momentum for last 3 months so all those things i look and uh, there are certain other criteria like uh, stock should be trending um, above 200 ema is 50 ema turn key moving average is like 21 ema 50 ema so like that and uh, pretty much my chart and uh, my trading uh, approach is uh, inspired by my mentor mark minervini my mentor mark minervini and uh, um, my friend uh, rohit vvv and uh, he helps me a lot he teaches me a lot uh, then um, sir krishna is there who is uh, my mentor and uh, he also teaches me a lot about how to manage uh, risk how to size up big as much as like 20 30% of your portfolio without increasing your risk open risk so all those things i learned and i've been pretty much uh, inspired by the kolamegi style of uh, trading so all those things has kept, uh, helped me actually making my own system so yeah i am actually being uh, really uh, astonished by all these uh, uh, traders like uh, mark minervini so i actually ob- adopted their own system as a uh, uh, trading so uh, uh, pretty uh, like uh, almost like uh, it's been a year that i've been trading these systems and i've created my own rules so all those rules i've been uh, taking uh, in regard to trading uh, stock markets and current scenario and uh, oliver uh, o- oliver kell also uh, being a trader that helped me a lot uh, in finding some of the cycles and everything then william o'neil as a investor i very much regard him because uh, his book uh, how to trade in stock market actually a really good book that helped me like that has opened my mind for uh, how to see uh, the st- stocks in the market how to catch the good momentum so all those things has helped me really a lot in making my own system so this uh, this has been my system a very short system i don't have uh, like too much of a uh, reading uh, annual reports on all i have been i have completely stopped all these things because uh, uh, these systems are actually giving me more uh, money uh, percentage returns uh, than compared to other system because they have to give so much time and tracking but right now my system actually giving me more uh, factual data that working on facts rather than uh, more on less of opinions less discretionary but yes sir, these are the things that are helping me Okay. And one question I think often I think Sahil would have listened and responded a lot in the last few months. How do you manage job and investing? Because Sahil reads a lot and spends a lot of time on research. So the same question I am going to throw to all four of you, where it may not be along with job, but it is along with studies because some of you are in school, some of you are in college. So how do you manage this whole investing or trading along with your academics? Uh, what are the challenges you face and how you are managing how you are distributing your time maybe you know if each of you four can you know just summarize a bit on that so so okay so shall i start sir yeah, yeah go ahead kundan yes sir so truth to be told uh, being a student in a college you need not to pay so much attention towards studies like as as much need as people think to utna nahi karna padta there is pretty much a lot of time of, uh, we have to learn and to explore other things also so and it's been a period of a corona also crisis also so there have been like a time for like freedom and plus my parents has never uh, like uh, said anything uh, against about my works whatever i want to do they always supported me they want to know okay okay kundan you are doing anything you will do you will do best don't worry so they actually supports me a lot so figuring out how to like manage because recently i've been doing some internships also so there also i've been able to do because some of my investing styles and whatever the trading styles does not require too much of time for me 
because uh, there is a proper stop loss there and I, once I took the entry I have to just ride with the system. So there is not much time only a time of like almost one hour or one and a half hour or two hour maybe for uh, and that also not in a very uh, in a stretch I don't require those times only like 15 minutes of a uh, screen time in the morning 15 to 20 minutes. So yeah, all those things I just require. And right now I am a student, so I am studying from home. There, there is a offline class is going to be start after uh, one hour and a half month. So after that I will see. Maybe there will be some time. But pretty much I have been doing all these things during the period of where I've been only of uh, online classes. So I've got uh, enough time for trading and investing also and learning new stuffs. Yes. Great. Uh, maybe Shubham, Arjun, Jay, can you? Like, can I go next? Yeah, go ahead, Jay. And I yeah. think Jay, in your case, it is three things: it is study, it is investing, and then it is all the investing projects. Correct. So basically, what I do is uh, basically uh, I have six hours school in morning, uh, eight to two, and after that, I basically study for basically one hour each day, dedicated. So I completely cut off everything. Uh, phone, laptop, everything, nothing. I completely focus on my study for one hour each day. I think that is enough uh, in class nine. That was enough in class nine. We'll see if uh, the amount of study increase in the classes for I will increase that to one to two hours. But I think that was fine. I could get a uh, decent above average grades with that. Uh, and after that, I devote every time to uh, particular investing and then coding in general. Uh, and I devote more time to investing. I think I devote each uh, basically one and a one and a half hour each day, and then to coding I devote currently more hours as uh, I want to release really shows early. Hence I devote basically around two to two point five hours each day on coding, and then basically yeah that's my whole daily routine like. Okay, great. Uh, Arjun, how about you? Uh, yeah, so uh, so honestly, if I would say, uh, it's very difficult to manage. And uh, ab, uh, online uh, offline college has started, so it has the difficulty has increased a lot. But uh, it's always uh, I have to do something. I have to sacrifice the other things. So, for example, in my eleventh and twelfth, uh, uh, from my 11, uh, ninth standard, I was very much into bodybuilding, and. Uh, I was so much into it that once I thought that I should become a bodybuilder in 11th standard, I thought that I should pursue that as a career. So even my college first year, second year, I was very much into, into bodybuilding. But now what I do that I uh, sh sh like there is a limited number of hours. So I have to decide where I have to put in uh, the work. So investing will always be there. But I decide, okay, today I'll sacrifice this. And here the investing whatever hours I have to read, I'll, I'll put in here. So sometimes it could be either missing class or it could be missing gym or it could be anything. Uh, so I, I have to miss something to bring in hours for this. When it was online, it was very easy because online you have to go and most of your time gets saved because you can get food within uh, like it's, it's near you only. Whereas in college, you have to go to mess and travel a lot. So college related problems are a lot of logistical problems takes your times a lot. So that is there. So uh, time to utna hota nahi hai college mein for, uh, for me because uh, uh, our law subjects are zada hote hain ki it's intense reading required requirement is there and uh, plus we, if I bring in investing, to wahan pe hamesha mismatch hota hai and I would not deny that I have to, I have to sacrifice either one day I sacrifice this or it, uh, other day I sacrifice the another thing. But one thing is there that. Uh, like in my first, second year, I used to do that. I used to wake up at uh, 5 a.m. And 5 a.m. say 5.30, I used to consider that my day has not started and this time block is for investing only. And I used to read a lot of books that time or investing material, whatever is there. And when 5.30, hota tha, then I used to think, okay, I now I got up. Now I can study my college if exam is there or whatever is there. So that, that thing is there. But yeah, the managed part, wo hamisha dilemma dilemma. Uh, oh, Sahil Sharma ka also I have kept that video and watched like, uska bhi time mil it's, I, uh, it's very long video so I have to watch that I, I'm really surprised how he manages his job and uh, still so much active on Twitter and it's my interesting discussion karta. he's very curious also so if you if you text him something he will ask he'll start asking you so many questions ki tumko doubt ho ki, yaar, yaar, I'll still in the business or not so, aise, so that curiosity uh, should be there 
then if curiosity is there passion is there then you somehow manage to get the time to uh, read read about uh, uh, about investing so yeah that 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 is there so yeah that that is how i ma- try to manage how about you shubham uh, yeah so um, uh, during uh, 2015 to 2019 uh, when my when i was in my btech so everyone knows ki btech mein state government ke college mein kitna padhai hoga hai तो एग्जाम से एक रात पहले पढ़ने का होता है और अच्छे नंबर से पास हो जाते हैं तो एट दैट टाइम देर वॉज एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम फॉर मी टू डिवोट टू वर्ड माई एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन एज वेल एज टू वर्ड इन्वेस्टिंग एंड बिजनेस एनालिसिस तो ड्यूरिंग फिफ्टीन से नाइनटीन तक तो कोई ऐसा इशू नहीं हुआ आफ्टर दैट आई डू नॉट गो फॉर एनी जॉब बिकॉज आई वॉज स्टिल माई प्रोफेशन इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई Uh, cleared my uh, prelims examination gave my mains then i did not got short list set for interview missed the cut off by 7 percentage uh, then uh, uh, i gave another attempt in 2021 at that time my three attempts was exhausted and we get total of six attempts in this examination so i thought that i should take a break and uh, 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 do some another uh, for post graduation or some another uh, academic uh, or some uh, job oriented uh, course so i have currently applied for my pg in research analysis on 7th of may i have my interview uh, in online online interview us mein nism mumbai ke jo college hai sebi wala to aisa to abhi koi aisa problem nahi hota hai ki kyunki i am not doing any job so i have ample amount of time to devote uh, in every uh, segment uh, for, for which i am preparing uh, or uh, uh, i am i am actually a uh, मैं सुबह जो है वो काफ़ी लेट उठता हूँ दस दस साढ़े दस बज जाते हैं तो इसलिए जो है मेरा रूटीन थोड़ा अलग तरह से रहता है तो ऐसा कोई अभी मेरे साथ कोई ऐसी प्रॉब्लम वाली बात नहीं है तो आई मैनेज टू डू माय रूटीन वर्क एफिशिएंटली देयर इज नो प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड आई हैव लास्ट टू क्वेश्चन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल ओपन द फ्लोर फॉर यू नो more questions from the audience and discussion so my first question is what has been your biggest failure or you know biggest mistake in the in last few years of your investing or trading journey that is question number 1 and question number 2 is usually you know you say you are young and you got a lot of advice and good suggestion from senior people but if you have to give advice to all the senior folks what is the advice you would you would like to give so these are my two questions and uh, you know again one by one you can go and after that uh, we will open the floor for everyone should i start sir yeah ja please go ahead yeah so basically uh, the mistake that when i was uh, just reading about stock markets and started investing the first mi- mistake that i did was i basically copied the portfolio of the uh, big investors without realizing that their allocation and my allocation differs so basically if a big person has bought let's say that may be very very less percentage allocation in his overall portfolio that may be less than 1% of so from that onwards i realized the need to yourself analyze businesses yourself allocate a substantial amount uh, of capital in that particular stock uh, that is the mistake that i did and i think everyone shouldn't uh, shouldn't to uh, borrowed conviction and, uh, and the message that i would like to give to the uh, people is that use uh, social media pretty wisely because a lot of information is there on it like if even if you want to learn investing you can learn it on twitter such a fantastic audience is there on twitter sharing fantastic knowledge like uh, you can see shubham mishra sir posting about technical charts such a fantastic information you see sai sharma sir posting about fundamentals business analysis such a fantastic uh, knowledge is being shared you can use social media pretty wisely and learn a lot of great skills i learned it investing through social thing uh, yeah that's my message so great thanks jay uh, arjun how about you yeah so uh, my mistakes would be uh, 
first one which i would say was the don't trust 100% uh, whatever you have learned in investing that it is 100% true and be flexible about it because agar main if i would have stick with benjamin graham thinking that if warren buffett still follows it so uh, i would have still been under an illusion so whatever you have learned uh, be open about it and uh, keep on reading different investing styles all, also because if somebody is uh, telling like the person you you should also uh, value the person who is giving you the different advice for example uh, like like i am a pure uh, fundamental guy but i i slowly slowly i am trying to learn technicals uh, like shubham shubham mishra ko main wo karta hu uh, koi bhi mere ko chart milta hai to i ask him ki yaar ye ye kya hai what is this pattern ye kya ho raha hai to thoda thoda i am trying to learn and uh, that is there ki you have to always question because there are lot of possibilities and the the style you are trying to say that might not work in one stock but might might work in the another stock so being open about it is the first uh, i i would say would, would be the learning or mistake would be that not being open about it and second mistake would be not leaving at the first sign of trouble so for example uh, this this could be this could my my personal example could be manapura finance here because uh, as soon as they mentioned in the con call that they have lost market share uh, ishmoe darora uh, suddenly uh, sold the stock but i said no i'll wait for clarification let's see what happens let's see what happens i'll wait for 3 4 quarters wo 3 4 quarters wait karne ke chakkar mein pura stock uh, uh, 30 40% down ho jata hai so it's fine matlab if if you believe fundamentals are there you can, you, you can stay in the stock matlab uh, it's not a recommendation but the problem here comes in is your return get uh, delayed by one or two years so that is the problem i have uh, with with this thing if you don't leave at the first sign of trouble then your delays will be delayed you you might get the same result or even more returns but the delay will be there so i prefer to uh, i keep a horizon of 2 to 3 years where triggers are coming in for 2 to 3 years and uh, that is where i learned in manapura finance that the triggers have been now shifted now i have to wait for fi 23 to come in and uh, uske baad hi performance might uh start coming in so that is you can always uh, like leave at the first sign of trouble or then uh, evaluate because when you're owning the stock so there are lot of biases come in you try to look for uh, points where you try to convince yourself ki no no you should own the stock this fundamental is still valid but if you sell the stock and then you reanalyze then the whole mindset would change so that is one key learning i have learned uh, uh, in the recent past and my uh, other other mistake would also be not understanding the business properly and just jumping in and this could be due to authority bias for example if uh, one any of my mentors says ki are this business is looking interesting and he sh- he or she shares the shares the note and usko i read and it's very interesting lagta hai so i used to suddenly buy and make the position and then reading it side by side side by side matlab full position bana li and then main uske baad side by side read kar raha hu so that was not a good thing to do because uh, if something happens i would be clueless and then i would go and call that person ki are why is this happening and also it's trouble for them also and uh, you are also not getting peace of mind so to get peace of mind you can start with one person position that i sometimes do if i get an idea and i've got my three four criteria which i look for 25% growth uh, reasonable valuation tailwinds are there if i have understood that then i'll start making a position and as and when i see that okay I've, the understanding is improving or the business is performing then i start to uh, uh, size up my position so yeah these these were the three three four mistakes which i have learned so far sure shubham you want to go ahead yes sir uh, so uh, regarding my mistakes uh, the biggest mistake which i will uh, which i want to tell that uh, don't i i try to fight uh, in my early days of investing i try to fight with द मार्केट इंटेलिजेंस तो बाद में मुझे समझ आया कि द कलेक्टिव इंटेलिजेंस ऑफ मार्केट इज ग्रेटर देन एनी बडी इज इंडिविजुअल इंटेलिजेंस तो नेवर ट्राई टू फाइट विद द मार्केट इफ मार्केट इज सेंग दैट देर इज समथिंग रॉन्ग देन वी शुड हम्बली एक्सेप्ट दैट दैट देर शुड बी समथिंग रॉन्ग एंड एज यू ऑल्सो टोल्ड इन वन ऑफ यीडियोज दैट सेल फर्स्ट एड थिंग लेटर तो पहले बेचने का आया सोचने का बाद में वरना सोचते रह जाएंगे तो फिर वो 50% परसेंट डाउन हो जाएगा और फिर हाथ में कुछ नहीं रहेगा तो पहले उसको बेच देना उसके बाद सोचने का कि क्या गड़बड़ सकती है द मिस्टेक विच आई डिड दैट पहले मैं सोच रहा था कि वॉट कुड बी रॉन्ग एंड द प्राइस कैप्ट ऑन गोइंग डाउन 
and it was down 55 percent so uh, if 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 if, uh, if uh, i would have sold that stock when it was down 5 percent or 10 percent i would have saved my lot of capital uh, during the uh, bear phase so uh, that was one of my key learning that uh, never fight with the uh, market overall collective intelligence of the market and uh, second uh, is that uh, always invest uh, investing out of uh, my circle of competence so that was also my mistake uh, the industry which i don't understood the business which i don't understood i invested in that and when you invest out of your circle of competence so you can never estimate the reward as well as you can now never estimate the risk so uh, also um, that was also my mistake that i invested out of my circle of competence now i never do that i always invest in my circle of competence jo industry samajh nahi aati hai jo bina samajh nahi aata usme invest nahi karne ka hai aisi bahut sari industry hai jo humko samajh nahi aayengi sabka apna apna ek aptitude hota hai samajhne ka सबको अपना एक क्वालिटेटिव और क्वालिटेटिव अप्रोच होती है वो अगर वो इंडस्ट्री में फिट नहीं बैठ रही तो उसमें इन्वेस्ट नहीं करना चाहिए तो दैट वाज आल्सो माय सेकंड मिस्टेक दैट आई इन्वेस्टेड आउट ऑफ माय सर्कल ऑफ कॉम्पिटेंस तो ये दो मिस्टेक हैं और तो मिस्टेक मिस्टेक की पनी सर और कुछ बताना चाहिए साथ में एनी सजेशन यू वुड लाइक टू गिव अच्छा एनी सजेशन so uh, suggestion which i uh, want to give that uh, um, uh, that uh, buy what you understand that is most important uh, take calculated risks always calculate that uh, if you lose and uh, 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 how much would you lose and because if you stop losing in the market you will ultimately win so lose karna band ho jayenge so win apne aap chalu ho jayega to wo bahut important hai uh, avoid uh, losing big capital always the first loss is always the best loss jo ki bahut hi appropriate hai and uh, and market is a place of regrets that everyone knows you buy uh, it goes uh, low you regret you sell it goes high you regret to hamesha regret hota hai to to regrets kahan pe kuch nahi hai market mein regret hamesha laga rehta hai so and never compromise with corporate governance corporate governance ka kuch bhi aata hai to aap sabse pehle sell button dabaiye kyunki usme punishment bhi bahut zyada market deta hai corporate governance pe kabhi compromise ho kijiye uh, that is very important and uh, 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 collective intelligence ka to baad maine bata diya and uh, one more thing very important ki uh, don't open your broker app every minute to check prices usme hoga kya fir aap ultimately bech denge stock always check if you want to check prices you can check through google don't open your broker app every minute ki abhi kitna ho gaya abhi kitna ho gaya as mein baad kitna ho gaya that is very bad thing तो उसको साइड में कर दीजिए ऐप को डिलीट कर दीजिए लेने के बाद जब जरूरत पड़े तो आप इंस्टॉल कर लीजिए तुरंत तो उस चीज़ से बचना चाहिए और एक लास्ट चीज़ पर बोलना चाहूँगा कि द मोर यू स्टडी एंड लर्न एंड द मोर यू नो दैट देर इज नॉट मोर टू नो जितना ज़्यादा आप पढ़ेंगे उतना ज़्यादा आपको मालूम पड़ेगा कि और कितना पढ़ना है और कितना भी चीज़ नहीं मालूम है तो रीड करते रहिए पढ़ते रहिए लर्न करते रहिए तो उससे आपको मालूम पड़ेगा कि भी पढ़ने के लिए बहुत कुछ है तो ये मेरे कुछ पॉइंट्स थे जो मेरे ख्याल से काम आएंगे सभी लोगों के वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी नाइस सजेशन शुभम एंड आवर लास्ट मैन स्टैंडिंग कुंदन प्लीज टेल योर ऑडियो हेलो यस सर या गुड मॉर्निंग ओके या या गुड सो माय माय फर्स्ट मिस्टेक माइट साउंड अ क्लीशे बट इट वाज सेल बाइंग दिस स्टॉक कॉल्ड यस बैंक in 2019 after uh, in 2019 yeah it was 19 only 18 19 or 20 end of 19 i think so when uh, warren uh, not warren i'm telling rj mr rakesh junderwala has invested in uh, the stock called uh, yes bank uh, so i used to be like very uh, just a cliche investor like any any new new investor who comes in uh, like uh, any retail investor who comes in the market to buy a penny stock or a two digit stock uh, simply thinking it will go uh, multi bagger or something like that so yes i invested in that and keep kept on averaging and selling my winner like irctc so i was uh, actually averaging my losers so my learnings was like ki how to cut your losses early so the my recent learnings which can actually help uh, new budding traders is to believe how to develop some procedural memory or the process is of uh, trading so because of the process uh, i actually been able to give less time to 
the process because uh, I have already built a process. I don't used to give more time to the market. My process will always take care of my uh, will always take care of uh, uh, my trading. It will not uh, let me make more mistakes or uh, heavy mistakes. So building some procedural memory is very important because uh, trading is uh, actually seeing as a form of art which requires a, a hell lot of time. But as a human, if we look at it, uh, we have been uh, like uh, born uh, and uh, we have been learned uh, how to speak, uh, how to walk, all these things we have learned. And this is just like uh, how to cycle or how to ride a motorcycle. All these things we have been keep learning and this doesn't require as much as uh, like uh, more than six months or even uh, sometimes it takes uh, some skills we require acquire in just one month. So all those things are actually these are the procedural memory as a human we can acquire it any time or uh, with a very focused approach but the focus should be learning the right process. Focus should be learning and the right process and uh, as uh, as early as you can develop that and you how to believe that but you have to also develop a self belief system to towards your setups the more you trade the more belief you will get and or to generating some some of the like ideas i can give you to uh, increase your belief system in your trading uh, uh, in your trading trading methodology or your in your trading system is to see someone who is using the same system the more you see that person as some uh, good uh, trader or good performer of that system the more you see them the more you learn see the some some of the live traders you can find on uh, uh, twitter just look at their trades and learn from them that i have been uh, like a pro i have been putting my trades um, rohit has been putting so many trades uh, krishna sir is there who put so many trades so yeah this has been uh, like how to increase your self efficacy beliefs on your system so develop those things and use the, these things to actually survive in this market and one of the another thing that i would recommend to all of you to do visit kolamegi website and also read one book called uh, how to make money in stock markets these are very simple things and actually i have been uh, that as i have said i'm just exploiting tightness and tightness exploiting tightness what is, is the not website a big you deal. said kunan kunan uh, which is the website you said I said the website of Kola Maggi, the trader, there, Kola there is, oh. yeah, anybody can just write ki three tightness, uh, three lifetime or uh, three li uh, timeless setups. I think you tweeted about it yeah, three, I four tweeted. days back, if I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's been like phenomenal uh, thing to read about uh, him. I have been following him quite a lot of time, like uh, it's been time. So I've been following him. So yeah, on Pradeep Bonde, you can also check to learn about more about tightness, to more learn more about uh, market uh, cycles or how to actually there are systems to peel off market market mein aisa systems they, these systems might not look as lucrative as investing something something like a value investing or something like other things which requires so much of process of uh, reading so many con calls or uh, things but as a trader there are some trading methodologies also which require which uh, seems like oh my god you are using so many indicators so many systems or so many things so all those things but there are some systems which are very simple and very simple to use look for those simple systems use them because all the big and successful traders are using very simple methods they are not making any complicated things even investors also don't have so many complicated rules set for them for investing so look for if you are doing anything like if you are doing any investing or trading you have to look for some system some system system you should learn i have learned my system from rohit from mark minarvini from krishna kumar sir so mark minarvini style was being uh, you know, rohit has been doing uh, mark minarvini style quite a well so i got inspired from him the self efficacy belief developed by seeing his trades ki okay someone like him can trade so i can also trade so yeah so the thing is ki this is just the thing uh, trading is not uh, some uh, big thing but yeah you have to give your hard time to it while learning but once you learn it, you might be good to go in very easy way. You can uh, trade and everything you can do. So these are the things that I recommended. Some Kola Maggi website. You can visit. Uh, you can read all the three books of Mark Minarvini and the How to Make Money in Stocks is my number one recommendation for all of you. Yes. Thanks. And Arjun, do you want to add the last point? If you have any suggestions? Yes, uh, I missed that part. So uh, about the suggestion part. Uh... If if you are someone who is uh, uh, young, like around your uh, and you are in your college, uh, so generally, I do not recommend people to start uh, direct equity investing, 
because uh, i had mentioned this also in one of my blog post where i said that it's very difficult because uh, three things are required and i had mentioned in that article that you should be curious and then you have, you should be able to handle the pressure which comes in because initially when you start you get very excited and 24 hours you are uh, matlab whenever the market is open you start tracking even if the price goes down by 1% you get excited it goes up you also, again you get excited and also lot of pressure is there and the opportunity cost as well you, like if you are a college student and your parents uh, you have not got uh, funding from your parents or your friends or any relative then the maximum money you would be having is some 1000 rupees and uh, even if you double those 1000 rupee or 5000 rupees how much would you could actually uh, have have had uh, had money with you so my advice would be that focus on building a skill and so generally whenever somebody comes for my advice i generally try to uh, show them the, like try to put the dark side as well that it's a lot of time and efforts put, has to be put in there and then also the hit rate is very less in investing but if if the even if you're able to achieve 40% hit rate you could do uh, good over the long term so that is their first step to be con- uh, confirm that okay you feel passionate about it or you're very much interested reading about businesses because from a conventional sense this is a very boring uh, you can say boring job or boring work that annual report kholo company ke bare mein padho like recently i was reading about difference between composite and steel cylinders so from a conventional student point jo college mein apna se life they want to chill and all उनके हिसाब से बहुत बोरिंग सा साउंड करता है बट सो यू फर्स्ट यू शुड कंफर्म यू शुड बी प्रिपेयर्ड इन योर माइंड दैट व्हिच साइड यू बिलोंग टू इफ यू आर रेडी टू पुट इन दोस आर्स एंड यू आर इंटरेस्टेड लर्निंग अबाउट बिजनेसेस ओनली देन यू शुड कम इन एंड ट्राई वेदर दिस 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 थिंग इज फैसिनेटिंग यू आर नॉट बिकॉज़ डोंट डोंट कम इन फॉर द रिटर्न बिकॉज़ वो रिटर्न्स के लिए आओगे और कुछ ना कुछ होगा आपका हो जाएगा यू वुड फॉल इनटू द दिस थिंग like uh, people started buying paytm because uh, they said that they use the app paytm is there i'll buy uh, money banega listing in so don't do that because wo problem ho jayega aapko because you have to and understanding itni manish that people with 4 5 6 years unko ja ke they realize ki okay my style has changed and also it's it's very uh, it's not that simple so it's it's not that easy simple definitely it could be simple but it's not that easy uh, it requires lot of efforts and uh, second point i would like to mention was don't, don't fall for motivational videos which we get on youtube wo well, suddenly a warren buffett ka video aa jayega that uh, uh, concentrated investing karo quality business dekho if you eat chingam chingam wali company mein invest kar do uh, uh, shoes pehante ho relax ho pehante ho relax matlab aise randomly to you can't invest uh, you should you should have some understanding of the business why you are doing because when the crisis hits then you would uh, your patience and your conviction would be tested a lot एंड उस टाइम पे फिर कुछ समझ नहीं आता है तो अभी तो सब कुछ ऑल प्राइजेस आर गोइंग अप सो बहुत सबको मजा आ रहा है बट जैसे ही वो मार्च 2020 वाला फिर से आएगा एंड कोई कजन या फैमिली नहीं होगी फंडिंग के लिए देन दैट्स द रियल टेस्ट दैट वुड कम ऑन सो आई 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 वुड जस्ट एंड विद दिस कोट व्हिच आई से जनरली दैट यू मेक मनी व्हेन यू डोंट नीड द मनी सो व्हेन यू आर लाइक आई हैव सीन लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई हैव सीन दिस लॉट ऑफ पीपल अराउंड माय एज दैट दे आर craving money ki money aa jaye wo aa jaye paisa paisa karte rehte hain pure time so when that element is removed that's when your mindset changes and you don't run behind the small returns and you wait for the conviction to build up you wait okay no opportunity i'll hold 10% portfolio or cash hold kar lunga no problem so that is there that the money element should be clear in your mind before before you start investing yeah so that is what i, I wanted to mention sure sure thanks a lot all four of you and i think you know at your age the kind of suggestions and all you are bringing i mean sometimes when i think uh, you know about myself in that age i know you know i i didn't even start thinking about in this way so i think there is a lot of maturity i know mistakes will happen but the best part is starting at this age with your three year learning curve with this kind of thought process i think this is very interesting and i believe for everybody the session was you know very useful and thanks thank you all of you for joining and you know just sharing your time to know more about them about their journeys and with that i will open the floor for questions and already i have met a uh, web host speaker so web host please to and go with your question hi so am i audible so web host we can't hear you uh, i can hear web host uh, he is audible to me he is yeah, audible i can i, I can, I can he is audible to me also yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you saurabh sir um uh, sir first of all um, 
सर लाइक मेरा भी ऐसा ही है सर जॉब का नाइन टू सेवन जॉब करता हूँ मैं और ये रात का टाइम होता है जब मैं थोड़ा स्टडी करता हूँ मार्केट्स को ओके चार्ट्स एंड ऑल एंड सर मैंने भी कुंदन सर के वीडियोस से मतलब जो उन्होंने वीडियो शेयर किया है यहाँ पर जो आइडिया शेयर करते हैं वो एंड ऑब्वियसली रोहित भाई यहाँ पर हैं अभी उनके उनके स्टाइल से ही कॉपी करा थोड़ा उन, उनसे एजुकेट लेकर मैं भी ट्रेड करता हूँ जनरली कभी कभी बट अभी क्या हो रहा है ना सर एक मेन प्रॉब्लम इशू ये आ रहा है जैसे सर भी कुछ अगर कुंदन सर भी कुछ अगर डालते हैं यूट्यूब वीडियोस के बारे में या रोहित भाई भी डालते हैं तो जैसे जैसे मैं डिग डीपर इनटू द नॉलेज लाइक जैसे जैसे मुझे ज्यादा नॉलेज आ रहा है वैसे वैसे वो कन्फ्यूजन भी ज्यादा होता जा रहा है जो वीडियो उसमें दिखाते हैं तो सर वो मैं कैसे सॉल्व कर सकता हूँ Yes, I will. I will answer for that. Actually, the more you, like as Rohit also says to me sometimes, that if we read more, then we will go like that. Some decision or analysis paralysis. We also have as a trader that which system to follow. But uh, like it will take us like time. Like it will take 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 time. Like actually i got really comfortable with uh, how to size even as much as uh, to 30 or 50% in a single trade which i took so how to like, i'm not able to trade to till 50% right now but i'm actually planning to size these things get get the skill and this is a method there is a method to learn so i am actually learning that method how to actually size big so the same way if you want to learn just enhance your current setups if it if anything can uh, is a profitable to you any setup which is profitable to you and you want to just uh, scale up like you have to just uh, some uh, usko viksit karna na pokemon ki language mein se ki bas usi setup ko thoda viksit aur karna hai to you have to just get all these readings again and again or bas naya version pikachu ko raichu bana do but lekin pikachu ka jo essence tha usko mat kho dena kisi aur ki wajah se ki bhai bas ab uske to current hi gayab ho gaye theek hai to apna jo current hai usko apna apna bacha ke rakhna hai but ha usko पावरफुल बनाओ अपने सिस्टम को विच एवर इज मेकिंग मोर पावरफुल लाइक आपका सिस्टम को जो चीज़ भी आइडिया मोर पावरफुल कर रहा है उसको एक्सेप्ट करो बाकी सबको रिजेक्ट कर दो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल एंड शॉर्टेड आंसर फ्रॉम माय साइड आई वांटेड टू एक्चुअली ऐड रोहित बट समहाउ आई एम नॉट एबल टू शुभम सी इफ यू कैन ऐड एंड रोहित कैन आल्सो ऐड हिज फीडबैक इन द मेन टाइम वन सजेशन फ्रॉम माय साइड बेस्ड ऑन माय एक्सपीरियंस इज लुक व्हेन यू हैव ट्राइड टू फाइंड अ पैटर्न एंड सी यू आर ट्राइंग टू गेट सम गुड आइडियाज आउट ऑफ दिस पैटर्न try to go through 500000 charts on that pattern and try to go through historically whether you want to go do in a discretionary manner or you want to do in a systematic manner if you are doing in a systematic manner your algo will throw ideas and you know you will have a, let's say 60% accuracy and 40% will not work if it is discretionary you will invest and you will see in your last one year of trade some 60 trades on the same pattern work 40 trades didn't work try to segregate them and try to see what was the common between all those 60 trades which worked and what was common between all the 40 trades which didn't work and once you find that common thing which didn't work then that will help you to identify where it failed it's all about finding pattern like when we say ki a moving average upar jata hai fir jata hai ye jata hai yahan se paisa banta hai this is a pattern so you are missing something in the pattern and that missing is giving the error and it will never be 100% but how we can keep on identifying improvising at least for me for one single pattern it has taken me one and half years of tweaking to come to a level and say ki okay ab isse zyada agar karunga to ye you know it will deteriorate more than improving so that is how i have done both on the discretionary side and the system side uh, i don't know if we can add uh, rohit for his comments uh, i am not able to add so yeah sir i that's my sir, response sent you a send, send send a request to rohit but i think uh he i think he is uh, yeah i think he's yes uh, yes you do you want to add something i think yash is also their good friend uh let me try to add yash if he can provide some feedback let me just see if i can add yash no there is some issue with me uh i'm not even able to send invites there is some issue so uh, any other question just keep asking keep uh, requesting for the question and we will no keep approving sir we have we have raj singh as a speaker i have approved uh, him so he's good yeah he i think you manage to one somehow there is some issue from my side so you keep giving okay, access okay, to everyone okay 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 so my question is yeah raj you can go ahead my yeah. question is from arjun uh, regarding your extension of uh, last point so you have mentioned in your blog that uh, there is some uh, stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 where you in stage 3 you figure out 
that investing is hard but uh, manageable and so how did have you passed that stage 2 from stage 3 and how did if yes so how did you uh, know that uh, this has uh, this has been done by you or uh, how did you figure out that yes uh, investing is your passion and you want to go on in uh hi raj so uh, so that is the thing that uh, if what i started to notice that ki when whenever i am free or whatever i am if i am not doing my law work then i start to realize ki i get curious to know ki are that company was there uh, ishmo had that mention or any my mentor had mention are why is this company is doing this thing are aise kyun ho raha always that curiosity will be there ki why is this thing happening or that thing is happening and when you read annual reports or conference call when you when you read the questions the investors are asking then then i say you you feel so fascinated that okay these things are also happening in the business world so for example the if you take uh, the cng theme which is going on currently so when you dig deeper into that cng theme you realize ki okay ev we to sab log kar rahe hain usse pehle cng na aa jaye because cng has been there for so long but the stations were not there so ye ye sab pad ke you get so fascinating that it's become so fascinating fascinating that you want to read more and if you don't get the answer to it then i said raat ke 12 baj jate hain 2 baj jate hain you still try to figure out ki bhai ye sab why is this thing happening so to even i am not someone who is expert or something but as so as of now i feel that i have uh, uh, enough liking for this subject that i am able to spend time on it because whenever i get free time i'll open a conference call and i'll start reading इसमोहित ने कोई कंपनी दी होगी आई विल स्टार्ट रीडिंग दैट नहीं समझ आ रहा आई विल कॉल माय फ्रेंड आई विल से यार क्या हो रहा है कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा सो दिस दिस थिंग इज देयर सो यू कैन रीड बुक्स ऑन दैट यू कैन जस्ट जस्ट बीइंग क्यूरियस अबाउट व्हाई द थिंग्स आर गोइंग द वे दे आर गोइंग विल मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड कि ओके यू माइट बी पैशनेट अबाउट इट एंड स्टार्टिंग में नहीं आएगा पैशन मतलब इनिशियली तो डेफिनेटली इट वोंट बी देयर सो यू हैव टू सेट अ मार्क दैट ओके आई विल रीड दिस मच एंड देन आई विल क्वेश्चन whether आई एम लाइकिंग और नॉट वो आपको स्टार्टिंग में डेफिनेटली नहीं आएगा कि स्टार्टिंग में सब कुछ हार्ड लगता है सो देयर विल बी अ स्टेज व्हेन यू रीच रीच अ स्टेज वेर यू रियलाइज कि ओके नाउ आई अंडरस्टूड दैट दिस इज दिस मच हार्ड एंड मेरे को एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट डालने में इट डजंट फील लाइक एफर्ट रादर इट फील्स लाइक यू आर लुकिंग फॉर आंसर्स सो दैट इज व्हेन यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर फॉर योरसेल्फ दैट ओके दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई लाइक पैशनेट मत बोलो पैशनेट बहुत बड़ा वर्ड है सो यू कैन से दैट दैट इज समथिंग आई लाइक एंड आई वुड लाइक टू रीड मोर अबाउट इट सो या दैट दैट इज दैट इज वेयर i have my for myself investing is very interesting because you can keep reading about businesses buy karna hai nahi wo to baad mein dekhenge but keep reading about it and bahut sare interesting fact management hota hai unka itna experience hota hai business industry mein ki aap shock ho jate ho padh ke ki are yaar what is he saying aisa bhi hota hai i didn't know about it so yeah that is that is where i found it very interesting thanks 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 uh next we have arun arun sharma ji hain uh sir you can unmute yourself and uh, please ask the question Hello, am I am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Please go ahead. Oh, uh, so sir, my question was that, as sir has mentioned, that they are following the approach of column A. So my question is that uh, it is how uh, different in Indian market because he is trading in US market. So how much difference in between these two markets? Mm, so yes, sir, it is uh, different. Like uh, he has uh, talked about three timeless setups. There is something called momentum bust. is something called uh, like a pivot episodic pivot so episodic pivot is what like i don't feel that indian markets me itna acche se kaam karta hai but actually un teeno methods ko leke there is one method that i really like it's something called uh, parabolic long or parabolic short so parabolic long is actually i really like a lot so i have found that there is a, a, a certain system that i have been using previously okay so the system was vcp some good basis any base which is under 30% so tra- trading above key moving averages or all, all like that i used to look for accumulation pocket pivot things so all those things but uh, uh, very recently i have been also trying to size even big in some trades so kulamegi method because uh, the drawdowns now which is le- le- something like uh, giving back to the market what you made so i i just want to cut on those things so actually i am just improving using some kolamaki setup so his learnings i am actually the previous thing that i taught ki anything which is just leveling up your current system so i am just using the part which is just 
can help me in leveling up my current system that I am using. That is VCP core system is VCP and high tight flex. So this is, comes from a uh, William O'Neill that like cup and handle or Mark Miner mini. You can learn about it. But Kulamegi, you can actually use all those setups uh, to look at your current setup. How you can apply some of that just to upgrade your current setup. And uh, more about the how they perform in Indian markets is that some of the things might not perform, but uh, some things like uh, I just uh, showed you about uh, told, told you about this thing uh, called a parabolic long. So this thing works very well in the market. Then there is momentum burst also that works very well in the market. So you can always try them and you can use them. So uh, sir, my follow up question is: Yes. Uh, as you mentioned, as you mentioned that. Uh, Kulamegi is also following the fundamentals with his uh, breakout method. Yes. So, yes. Uh, Indian market may we have to follow that or, मतलब बिना उसके काम चल जाएगा. At least मैं तो fundamentals को बहुत ज़्यादा priority देता हूँ. ठीक है. Beach was my RHIM का trade. Beach was my uh, the uh, trade of this called uh, Linde India. Which but the thing is कि I have not been able to hold those trades. I have been like. Quick to sell this time, so it, it was my mistake because I was thinking that market will not sustain or like that. But uh, yeah, thing thing is that you can just use this method to level up. And what was your question? Can you please repeat it again? Yes, yes, uh, sir. My question is that, like fundamentals, I am a newbie. Ah, fundamentals. Yes, yes. Fundamentals. So you have yeah. to, you have to focus on fundamentals. And I use markets with India to check the EPS rating. For me, fundamental is actually mo not more about P. Okay. For me, it is more about the uh, sequential quarter growth in the EPS, more growth in the sales, or quarter on quarter, like yearly quarter on quarter growth. So all those things. Moreover, like cancelling, you can read uh, read about it. So cancelling method, I follow uh, in the fundamentals side, and I actually see uh, some good tightness, and with good uh, EPS rating, I will just go for the trade. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Next, we have Avdhut. Abdul, uh, he is there. Can unmute yourself and go ahead. Yeah, I'm, hi, I'm Abdul. Um, I've started my investing only recently, just two years, one and one half, two years back. So, just have a question on the um, exit strategy. So, whenever we invest, we uh, ha we need to have an exit strategy. Is what uh, we we read about, right? So, one of the exit strategies I have read about uh, is uh, about the overvaluation of the stock. Uh, let's say it's hundred times its sales or uh, the earnings. Uh, it's one of the strategies we could use to exit. How? What is? Uh, what is your take on that? Especially in the current market, you see many of the stocks are uh, actually uh, going up by a lot. And um, would you actually uh, think that it's you need to exit those stocks or keep remaining invested or do the partial booking? What What is your take on that? So, Abdul, to whom you are asking the question? Um, anyone should be fine. Sorry, anyone who could give me an advice. Yeah, please go ahead. One of your four. Uh, I can I can talk about my fundamental exit strategy. Uh, so uh, I had shared a tweet uh, long back about uh, Sumit Nagar, who is uh, the uh, fund manager for Malabar Investments. So that uh, sir has uh, in one of his interviews, sir had mentioned four points which he which he finds as trigger to sell. So the four, I would just uh, repeat. I try to follow those four points. I will just repeat those four points. So the first point he mentions that when you see that the price has gone so much up, that your next three to four years are going to be the returns which are you are going to you, are, you could expect reasonably expect are going to be similar to a bond rate. Then one can exit and look for better opportunities. Uh, second, he said that when your thesis goes away, for example, you invested in a Uh, pipe company, assuming that the brand brand name was there, but when you did scuttlebutt or even you, the, when the numbers started coming in, you realize that the even if brand is there or not, the numbers are not coming in. The thesis is going uh, the south way. So so then you then you sell when your thesis. So that is why they recommend that you should write your thesis down. So if your thesis is not working, you exit the business. Third one could be opportunity cost. I'm for example, if I'm invested in company A. And I see that they're uh, guiding for 20% growth, but then I found a find a company B. They are saying I'll grow by 30%. But now even if they mit, miss 30%, let's I can still be safe safely. I can still safely assume that okay, 20% तो ज़्यादा hit कर लेगा maybe. 
that that i have to make 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 the estimate that is to your personal analysis how you do so then you can shift and depending on the valuations also then that person can shift to a better opportunity and lastly could be if if it's a, it depending on the sector if it's a cyclical industry then if you think the cycle is turning down which is very difficult to think to figure out uh, it requires lot of experience so if you think that the cycle is going towards the peak or the bottom as has been hit which is very difficult to figure out in that time you can make your buy or sell decision which could be uh, a useful thing to do so yeah these are the four points i keep in mind whenever i own a stock and i uh, revisit it again and again to decide whether i have to sell or not so just if you want to uh, name a stock for example manapura finance i had my it was my largest position when i initially built the position it was 25% and uh, that was my irrationality that i went with the initial 25% then every quarter they failed to perform i started reducing reducing and for for full disclosure to it's around 4% because past 3 4 or 5 quarters they have been continuously not performing and that is when my thesis thesis did not work and now i think that the perform their performance is going to be going to start after fy23 so here so now i am stuck either i am stuck or i can book my losses and exit so that is the decision which i have to make so yeah this was one practical example you have very good points surgeon and i would i also like to add few things so one thing is from a exit perspective first uh, it also requires what is your timeline and what is your investing style some two people might be invested in the same company but one person having a two year horizon and one person having a 10 year horizon there is a lot of difference so depending on your horizon also you need to take a call whether you want to go only with fundamentals you want to go with fundamental plus technical the other thing is how much deep knowledge you have about that sector so i could have different strategy in different sector a sector where i have a very strong grip uh you know i might give a little more weightage to my conviction there than my charts whereas sectors which are difficult or sectors where you know uh, surprises come because it's very difficult to make anything out of annual reports and all you might like to go for technical so like when it comes to banking i give a shit about my fundamental knowledge i just go by the charts because uh, you know this whole thing again and again banking happens that all the bad news comes after 2 years and then everybody gets surprised the third thing is if you look at this concept of valuation uh, valuation is two part one part is the earnings driven valuation or the price is going up or down you will exit either in profit or in loss and it is all about the prices going up and down and prices go up and down because of fundamental reason of earnings but there is also a reason in terms of liquidity in terms of demand supply of share who is the big buyer who is the big seller and shorter the time more important becomes these parameters and longer the time frame more important the earnings become so again depending on the investment horizon you have and how much importance you are giving what if you know the stock is good it will bounce back but uh, next one year it is going to do bad so there could be few value investment we could hold because you have a five year horizon you have built your thesis that i am going to hold for five years so you may not bother about this one year phenomenon where some people have got really pissed off because two quarters of earning was bad but if your horizon is no you have to make profit in two years then that's a serious issue you so you see there is a supply pressure the charts are weak you have to exit so i think it all depends on your own philosophy your own holding time your strategy and then what kind of skills you have on the fundamental side technical side plus the kind of conviction and knowledge and then you need to pick out of you know the four five reasons which arjun highlighted or some of them i'm highlighting you need to decide based on all of this you know what is the kind of exit you need to take and different stocks might have different exit uh, criteria based on a combination of all of these yep thank you thank you for your uh, opinions i got my answers sir we can take last question from nakul then uh, after that we can wind up yeah hello everyone yeah my my yeah, no, Hello, please you are, go you are yeah. audible you are audible yeah. go ahead yeah my question is for price precision ppp yeah i wanted to know yes sir yes sir. i i wanted to know what screeners do you use for the stock selection and then scan it basically what screeners screeners you use it uh, i will look uh, any stock which is under 25% uh, from the 20 52 week high ranges and i will just look for it will throw at that says like 900 to 1000 charts so you have to just go one by one each chart and just find some good tightness 
in those which are actually some good bases which i'll call so all those good bases with good tightness you will just clean out of them you will get uh, from now in hundred you will cut up on to almost like uh, 100 i think so yeah after 100 you will just look upon some of the price checks some of the fundamental checks that you will do something like eps rating i will check on the market uh, smith so after that checking i will just go to something like 20 30 stocks and those will be working for my next week so for the week i will just choose on the best charts which are really good on the tightness levels like there will be some good uh, tightness ratings for me which i look so i will just drop down all those things to 10 or 15 charts and i will take uh, entries in the coming weeks hello okay okay yeah. just uh, manual screening for looking yeah, at that data that are just 20 yeah. 25% of its all time highs yeah thank yeah. you yeah. Uh, so can i ask a follow up question yes babu you can ask uh, sir what would be the ideal eps rating ideal eps rating should be like sometimes if i look at some bases like uh, which are just in uh, uh, early stage to the eps rating might not be very good okay they will be just like uh, below uh, ab- above for 50 or 50 50 or 70 between 50 or 60 ranges like that but the most of the time like if you look at the many trades of mine that i'll find ki okay the eps rating should be above than 75 at least 70 above 70 anything above 70 will do good uh, so sir yes. like what is your criteria that um, like aap kaise pata lagate ki iska eps 90 ya 85 sahi hai ya 60 sahi nahi hai 60 sahi nahi hai wo meko base batata hai how is the base okay if i look at the basis i can't actually tell you because there is so many things which i have developed over the period of time by seeing looking at so many charts so experiences ko um, directly mai aisa matlab sirf in words i cannot translate but uh, yes the pocket pivots will actually tell you ki how is the base so if there some there will be some good bases also so this is the main like, so this is the main problem with don't google. confuse yourself don't confuse yourself uh, right now with the uh, lower eps ratings and all Uh, go for higher eps rating anything above 80 like that and uh, find some early stages don't go for anything which is uh, uh, any basis below uh, no, above th- three base like most there will be stocks which are being trading in near uh, fourth base or something like that okay. those stocks will be only good for parabolic moves okay. so yeah you can just uh, get those parabolic moves with the intention of just selling them into the strength so that will be criteria for you in the fourth basis but in the look for the stage uh, look for the stocks which are in their early stage to and not to, too old look for young young stocks okay anything like uh, young surprises like uh, earning surprises are like cockroaches if you find one uh, uh, earning surprise in a company there will be so many earning surprise will be coming in the future also like if you found one cockroach in a house you will be some more cockroaches there in the house you have to take the same so, thing also i think yeah so same thing is with the earning surprises so uh, when you find some good uh, earning surprises the in the future the earning surprises will be coming maybe the chances of our getting more earning surprises is very high chances so earning surprises are actually good things when you look at the eps ratings and all so there you will find so find these things yes well Uh, Shubham, are we done? Yes, sir. We don't have any pending request. We are done, sir. Cool, cool, cool. So, thanks uh, all of you for attending. Thank you, you four. I think uh, your journey is great. You are doing great. Uh, we will keep on. Thank you, all of you, for attending. I hope this session was useful. We are closing it. Okay. So, have a great so weekend, much. all of you. Thank, thank you, you so much sir thank you for thank you thank you, thank you so much sir. and thank you uh, arjun thank you subham bhai thank you jay for being here and uh, thank you sir thank you so much